My life of acting started when I was seven years old and I discovered my love for it after doing several commercials and a couple Lifetime movies to kick off my career. I've been a part of many projects including the episodic Mood Swings on Pure Flix, two Lifetime movies, well that was four, but two Lifetime movies. And this year I was a part of Rebel Moon as a stunt double directed by Zack Snyder. I was also on Outer Range directed by Josh Brolin and I was the star of Roswell Delirium, directed by Richard Bakewell. I've attended multiple charity events and fun get-togethers to meet new actors and actresses, and that's how I've also gained more of a following, because everyone I follow, I have met as a, is a friend of mine, and I have met them or I want to someday. Some highs of being in the industry are you get to meet a bunch of new actors and actresses, you get to make a lot of new friends, you get to be any character you want to be, which is so cool, and auditioning the process, you can go out for any film that you want. There are some lows in the industry, like the lack of privacy and security, and the crazy schedules and long work hours, but I live for it. <laughs> With being an actress and putting my name out there constantly, it does help when I come to share my faith because more and more people every single day discover that I'm not the type of person to keep my beliefs private. On social media, it makes it easier to share my faith in fun and creative and different ways. <laughs> For example, fun facts, Bible study posts, and surrounding myself with friends and other actors who share the same love for our God. I live right next to LA and I am up there multiple times a week and on one of my first projects ever I got the chance to work with Reese Witherspoon, Laura Dern, and Nicole Kidman. I am also so thankful that I got to attend the screening of Elvis and I got to meet the one and only Austin Butler who is such a humble and kind soul. I have chatted with Robert Downey Jr. who is so sweet and again so humble and I love talking with him. On my most recent film that's coming out soon, I got to work with the one and only Michael Anthony Hall, Lisa Welchel, Dee Wallace, Sam Jones, and Reggie Val Johnson. Every celebrity that I have worked with has been nothing but kind and inspirational to me. Throughout my life, there have been many moments where I've grown closer to God, and one thing I never ever lost sight of, no matter how deep the situation was, was how much God loved me and how he was always there for me no matter what the situation was. My faith is important to me because without it, I don't really know where I would be and I don't know how I'd handle any of the situations I have been in. And I wouldn't be the person I am today without God by my side. Do you believe in God? If you said no, or even if you said yes, I wanna ask why? Because a lot of people give the excuse that God is just a figment of your imagination, or he can't see him, so why should you believe him? Well, think of oxygen. You need it to survive, you have it, but you can't see it, so how do you know it's there? Because it's essential to life, but it's always there even though you can't see it. So that's a good example to compare the two. God is always there for you. No matter what, no matter where, no matter when, no matter how, he is always there for you and he never gives up on you. You may not believe that and you may not think it, but it's true. And if you want a strong relationship with God, you need to have the relationship two-sided. As long as you just listen to him, he'll always be there. So my advice to give you is give God a chance and just open your ears and listen because life is so much better when God is leading your life and I am truly blessed that he continues to bless me.